Chicago White Sox baseball brought to you by Miller. There's good enough and there's better than it has to be. Miller, good call. The Illinois Lottery. No matter how you play, play the Illinois Lottery. Have a ball. Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today, I'm here with the next two-game series in our season, in our 1955 Washington Senators season. And today, we're taking on my Chicago White Sox. No one in their right mind would bet against the Chicago White Sox. And the first game will be pitched by Chuck Stobbs against, as you can see, Dick Donovan. And then in the second game, we will have McDermott going up against whoever the Chicago starter is there. Let's check that out. Uh, that will be Jack Harshman. So, got two games against Chicago. They're not doing well in this particular season, uh, this replay season. But I think in real life, they were pretty good. I think they had like 91 wins in real life. So, We'll see how we can do against them. I hope everybody had a very Merry Christmas. And let's hope for a, a much happier New Year. But with that having been said, let me, uh, first of all, let me turn down the sound. And again, I'm, I know usually I have my face up in the corner, but um, I find that the sound quality is actually better if I don't have my face on the screen. I don't know what that's got to do with anything, but that is how it seems to work. So we will get underway with this game. And everything should be in order. Human against computer, and computer is Chicago. So, yeah, we're ready to go. Tell me the statistics for the day, for the type of day it is, and uh, everything. So, no, we're ready to go. And we're going to lead off with a ground out by Johnny, Johnny um, Grow. Ernie Orovitz is up Dick, against Dick Donovan, and he just missed getting a single. It was a single one. He got a two. And that brings up Pete Runnels. And Pete Runnels it does get the single. He'll get, that was a single one to five. He got a four. And now we got him burning up the plate, and he's going to hit a fly to center, but that's Busby, and he is a one. So I'm not expecting anything out of the ordinary there except an out. So Chuck Stobbs, our man Chuck Stobbs, takes the mound, pitching against Minnie Minoso. And he hits him, which is not good because Minnie Minoso is fast. He can steal a couple bases on you. Um, so we're going to have to watch about that. Busby. Here's Busby, the main man. Hopefully that's a double play. And no, it isn't. Busby is at first. And that brings up Bob Neiman. I don't know why I don't have a Bob Neiman pitcher, if he's in their lineup. But anyway, he hits into a double A, double play. And we're out of the inning. We go back to pitching, batting against Dick Donovan with Roy Sears. And he is going to fly out. So we got a nothing nothing score here in the top of the second. Again, it's two games in Chicago, and I will be putting both games up. Strikeout for Carlos Paula. And Valdivizio is up, and he is out. So we go one, two, three in the second. We're going to the bottom of the second. And, and Vern Stevens is up. And he's going to ground out. Brings up uh, Chico Carasqua. And he is going to fly out. Deep fly to the track. But Growth should, growth should track that down, and he does. And Sherm Lawler is up. And Sherm Lawler hits a single. Sherm Lawler, one of the better catchers in Chicago White Sox history. George Kell is up, and he singles. So Stobbs all of a sudden just give up and hits like he's giving out candy at a carnival. 
And now Nelly Fox is up at the plate, and he walks. So after getting the first two outs of the inning, very quickly Stubbs loads the bases up, and then he allows lovely a ground ball out to dig down. So thank God Dick Donovan came up, and now he's out there pitching again against us, and Ed Fitzgerald is the batter, and he's going to ground. So we got a nothing-nothing score here in the top of the third. And Stobbs up at the plate, and Stobbs walking. Nice. You always love when the pitcher gets up. Johnny Grove is going to single. So with one out, we got two runners on. I'm going to hold the runners. Oravet is up at the plate, and he is going to hit a triple one to five, and that's a natural triple. Oravets tripling in two runs for us. Well, that was huge, and now he's 90 feet away with Runnels up at the plate, and Runnels is hitting a fly to center. So hopefully that can knock the run in, but we'll see. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be deep enough. And it is, and we have a 3 nothing lead with Vernon up the plate, and he's just missing a middle run. Not really just missing it, but he is missing it. So that's going to be a deep fly to the warning track in right. And an out, and Stobbs takes the mound now with a 3 nothing lead, and the lead-up pitching against lead-up man again, Minnie Minoso, who will be out. Stobbs pitching well this game. Jim be up. And he walks. In fact, maybe this is why Chicago is, is the record they have in this league. Maybe, you know, it's um, indicative of how they've been playing. Because, I mean, they've loaded the bases and gotten, I mean, they've had a ton of base runners against Stobbs. They just um, haven't been able to cash any of them in. And this looks like it'll be a ground ball double play. Or no, it won't. It will just one out because there was already two. So Donovan goes back out and sees his batting against him, and he walks. Carlos pops up, and he strikes out. And Valdivio is up at the plate, and he's going to hit a ground ball to first. That's Cal. He's a four. And he does get on base. So we've got Fitzgerald up with only one away. And two runners on, and that's a single. You know, I can't. I wanted to send them, but I couldn't. So now Stobbs has to bat, and but he walks again. Stobbs has two walks, no official at bats, and that one got him an RBI. And now Johnny Growth is up, and he hits a ground ball to the third base B. That doesn't uh, that doesn't get an additional run in, but you know, Oravets is up, big hit last time, but this time I'm not to be. So um, we do pick up a run though, and we have a four nothing lead pitching a chair Car 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 and he is out. Stobbs on top of his game again. Cannot say enough about that. Term from Lawler. Sherm Lawler with a single, probably the same exact piece he got the single last time off of Stobbs' card. And George Cornell is at the plate, and he's going to ground to second. And let's see if Runnels makes the play. It looks like he did, and he did. So now Runnels is up at the plate, and bang, it makes Donovan. Here in the fifth, and he's going to have a base hit. McVerse turning up. Mickey Vernon's going to fly center. So one down, Runnels at first. Seavers up. And Seavers gets a single. We have two on with only one out. We're going to hold the runners. Paula up. And Paula hits into a double play. So that's going to end the inning. So we were on a nice little run, but it came to an end in the fifth. And so now we still have a 4 nothing lead, though. Stubbs only having allowed three hits, and there's a right there. Donovan up, 
and Donovan's going to be out. Surprise Stobbs is pitching this well. I mean, it's crazy. And now um, the main man, Minoso, is going to foul out. So we're back up at the plate, top of the sixth now. Time is running out for the White Sox, and Valdebizo is up at the plate, and he pops out. Ed Fitzgerald up. He's out. And now no, that'll bring up Chuck Stobbs, a man who has yet to have an official at bat because he's walked twice. And he grounds out. Just missed that walk. So we're going now to the bottom of the sixth. And there's a walk to Jim Busby. Uh, Bob Neiman is up, and Bob Neiman hits the ball back to Stobbs. Does he make the play? Yes. So there's one down, Busby at second, and Stevens up. Bernard Stevens up, and he is going to line up. Not a good night here, apparently, in Comiskey for base hits. Harris is up, and he is going to fly out. Home run one to nine, but he couldn't get it. That's going to be a deep fly. And Stobbs comes out on skate yet again. And we go to the top of the seventh. It really is getting late here. And uh, Johnny Growth is walking. I would say it's a pitcher's duel, but it really isn't. We've gotten four runs off of Donovan and a lot of base runners, too. Oravets is up, and Oravets flies out. So one down. That brings up Runnels, and Runnels is going to fly out. And McVernon, and he walks. So now we got two aboard with two down and Seavers up. And Seavers is single. Let's see if we can get Growth home on that. I'm going to send him just because it would be the second out. And it looks like we got it. Yeah, 5 nothing. So, Carlos up, and he's out. Because the ballpark singles this particular game, not real good. But we extend our lead to 5-zip. And Stobbs is still out there, the master of his own destiny, and the master of this Chicago lineup as well. And there's a ground ball to third. I've never seen Stobbs pitch like this, like ever. So Lawler is out, and that brings up George Kell. George Kell is out. We might just get a complete game out of Stobbs, which would be crazy. A complete game shutout would be even crazier. Fox is up, and that's going to be a ground ball to Leviso. Let's see if he makes the play. And he does. It's an out. And speaking of El Diviso, here he is, batting against Donovan, who's still out there for the White Sox, despite giving up five runs, and El Diviso gets a hit off of him. And that brings up Fitzgerald. And he's going to fly out. So Chuck Stobbs is up. And he hits into a double play. But... May not matter because he's pitching like a like a fiend out there. Bottom of the eighth, it's five nothing us, and Donovan is probably going to be pinch hit for, and he is by Jim Rivera, and he's going to fly out. See, unlike the Tampa Bay manager, um, Kevin Cash, I will not take a pitcher out who is pitching out of his mind like Stobbs is right now. Minnie Minoso is at the plate, and he's going to double. So Minnie Minoso getting a big hit off of Stobbs. And Jim Busby up. He strikes out. And there's two down here in the eighth. Bob Neiman up. And Bob Neiman singling. You got to believe Minoso's coming home. Man. 
No, he isn't. He doesn't. So Vern Stevens is up. up. And Vern Stevens is going to get a two-run triple. All right, so now that now they're getting the stops. And he's tired, but I'm going to... No, that wasn't... Oh, I guess he... Eh, I guess they limited it. So it's only a one-run double. And there's a fly to center. center. Unfortunately, I did not put in our defensive replacement. So that's going to be a base hit. And it is now 5-3. I'm going to hold, I'm going to try to get him through this game. Or through this inning. And he did. He is out. So we still have the lead. And growth is up. Would like another, like, Maybe, you know, padding run here. Maury Martin is on to pitch for the White Sox. Or is up, and he hits a single. Let's hope that's a key to a run, because I kept him out there last inning. Defensively. And no, that's going to be a line out, so there's two down. And Mickey Vernon up. Uh, and Mickey Vernon is going to hit it to Karasquall, who's a two, two, and he is out. So we're going to make some pitching maneuvers and other maneuvers, too. We're going to put Jacalis in at pitcher. And we are also going to put Umflet in in center field. So there you go. And there's a ground ball short by George Kell for the first out of the ninth. Nelly Fox is up. He's going to hit a ground ball. A. And Maury Martin is up at the plate. No, they're going to pinch hit Les Moss. Unless Moss walks. Minnie Minoso up. And he hits a maybe a double. That might even it might score the run. We'll see. No, it doesn't. And Jim Busby's up two down here. And then he hits a double and ties the game. You cannot make this up. All right, Bob Neiman up to the plate and strike out. But they did tie the game. The White Sox came back and tied it in the bottom of the ninth. And so now here we go to the 10th with receivers up at the plate, and he's out. Batting now against Mike Farrells. For I don't know. Carlos Pozola up. He's out. And Valdivio is up. And he's going to fly out. And we're going to the bottom of the 10th. And that's going to be a fly center. This time I do have Umflet out there, but this looks like a hard hit even for Umflet to play. But he hauls it in. So Eric Squall is up. He walks. Sherman Schlaller, who's two for four on the day, hits into a double play, and it'll be the end of that inning. We're going to the top of the 11th, and Ed Fitzgerald up. And he's hit by a pitch, which is great, because now the pitcher's up and I'm taking him out because he already pitched two anyway. So, he's a righty on the mound, and so, you know what, we're going to McDermott, our, our standby um, pinch hitter. And he does not come even close to getting a single. He's going to fly out. And that brings up growth. Growth strikes out. 
and that brings up Umflit. And Umflit is lining out their days. So, yes, it's telling me I got to replace the pitcher, which I know I have to do. And we're going to go to Abernathy just because. So, Abernathy is on the pitch for us. And that is an out. And up steps Nellie Fox. Who is going to single? That brings up Mike Fornells. Let's see if they pinch hit. They do. Bob Kenny pinch hits for him and strikes out. And Minoso comes up. And he's hit by pitch and injured. Two for four on the game, and but he'll stay in the game. And then that brings up Jim Busby. And Jim Busby is out. So Abernathy gets us out of the 11th. We go to the bottom of the 11th, or we go to the uh, top of the 12th. And that's bringing up Runnels, and he walks against Bob Keegan. Vernon up, and he's going to hit it with a double play. The last thing we really needed right there. And up steps Roy Seavers. Seavers walks, so he's aboard. Carlos Paula, and he strikes out. So we're going to go back and try it again. Abernathy pitching to the White Sox, trying to keep them off the board, or else they'll win the game. Burns Stevens up. He walks. So there's one down with a man on and carries square ball up. And he walks. That brings up Sherm Lawler. And that was a wild pitch, so now we're really in trouble. Ground ball short. And runs do not score there, so there's two down and George Kell at the plate. But that's going to be a run scoring single that wins the game for the White Sox. So it went extras. There was a free baseball, but the White Sox came back and won it 6 5 in 12 innings. And Stobbs, though, did pitch really, really well, especially for him. But it was a wasted effort and goes for naught. And now we have got to go on to game two of this series, put game one behind us, and hope for a better result. And we got the lineup out there, Mickey McDermott. So everything's set. There's the stats for the day. To the stadium for today. And Eddie Yost up to the plate. And he's out. So I guess he was injured last night. I don't remember him being injured. Man, he might have been now. It's been a while since I played the last series. Runnels is out. That's two down. And Vernon at the plate. And he hits a play ball to the left. And Jack Hershman gets the White Sox out of the first inning. And now we have McDermott pitching the Minoso, and he grounds out. Game two of the series, we lost game one, 6-5 in extra innings. And Busby is up, and he is going to hit a single. So the White Sox have a man on with one out, and Walt Dropo. Walt Dropo is up. And he doubles. And I do have a story about Walt Dropo. I was uh, throw for the lead runner. I'm going to stop the runners from advancing. Um, Walt Dropo was a rookie for the white for the Red Sox, and a buddy of mine is a great Red Sox fan. And I always would try to ask him questions 
to try to, you know, trip him up. Questions especially about Red Sox. And there's going to be a two run, two run home run by Sherm Lawler. So the White Sox are just kicking our butt right now. So I asked him, I said, and, and I looked this, I happened to stumble across something that said that Walt Dropo, I forget what the question was. Um, was the only, the only rookie, um, the only rookie Red Sox player, and I forget what the question specifically was. Um, maybe to win MVP? I don't know, but it was something crazy that I, and I was like, like Walt Dropo was like the only one. And if anybody can look it up, hey, look it up, leave it in the comments. Um, but, you know, I was thinking like Fred Lynn, Jim Rice, somebody like that. And there was a lot by Kel. But no, it was Walt Dropo. So I asked him, I said, who was the only Red Sox rookie to whatever? And he went, hmm, hmm, like he's thinking about it. And then he said, Walt Dropo? <laughs> I could not believe it. And what I really can't believe is we're getting our asses handed to us right here. I mean, McDermott is pitching crazy bad. And uh, yeah, there's going to be another, yeah. So it's four nothing, no outs yet. Oh, okay, no, we we're back. All right, we're up. We're back. We're back up in the second. We get a walk by Seavers, but now we're down four nothing. After a bad first, and then there's a strikeout by Paula. And Umflip is up. And Umflip pops out. So. We are going to, oh, no, Ed Fitzgerald, he's still got a chance. He does get a hit. He gets a hit. hit. Got two on. I'm going to hold the runners, even though McDermott's the next, or no, Val, Val now is the, is the last, is the last position player hitter. And that's an out. And so McDermott back out to the mound. We're down by four, pitching to Harshman, the pitcher, and he strikes him out. Mini Minoso up. He walks. Jim Busby's at the plate. And he is just in time with the out. Well, Ropo, here he is, and he lines out. So we're out of the inning. We're out of that inning, but we're still down by four, which is a bad place to be. With McDermott at the plate. And he is going to ground out. Okay. Eddie Oista. He walks. Runs is at the plate. And he's going to hit a ground ball. Double play. No, not a double play. Mickey Vernon. And Mickey Vernon it will hit it into an out that makes us out of the inning. We're going to the bottom of the third. Down 4 nothing. Sherm Lawler up. There's a and ground ball, ball by Sherm. That brings up Bob Neiman. Bob Neiman hitting the ball to ball right. We got Carlos Paula out there. Not a great fielder. Might be a base hit. And it is. George Kell at the plate, and he walks. So now they got two on with only one. And Kerskwal up. He's going to strike out. And the box is up. And, and if you're wondering, yes, I have televised nearly all of our games so far. Um... Maybe once in a while, if there was a three-game series, I would only televise two of the three and then quick play the third one. But basically, I've, I've um, put up every, um, at least one game of every series so far, and that's mostly because I wanted everybody to at least get a look at every team. 
And like, for, for instance, Chicago right here is the first time we played the White Sox. So we got no runs in the fourth. We're going to the bottom of the fourth. And uh, McDermott dealing to Hart. But as we go on in the season, I will skip big chunks of the season and just go to uh, select games. Um, Mini Minoso with a big single that puts runners at the corners. Um, because this was back when there was only 10 teams in the American League. I'm going to throw. We don't get him. And uh, so Busby. And so at that time, you know, I mean, you only played nine other teams. So you're going to see... You will have seen a lot of the teams at least once, probably, after this series. I mean, I think this was maybe this maybe was the last team that we hadn't seen. Not 100% sure about that. That may not even be true. But anyway, once you've seen every, every team on our schedule, then I will skip big chunks of games to get through the uh, season quicker. I'll do quick plays. And, you know, so that we can move ahead in the schedule. Um, but just letting everyone know that, like, because you're probably out there wondering, is he going to play the entire season, like, and televise all the games? And the answer is no, I'm not going to do that. So Fitzgerald grounds out to Carasquale. We're still, surprisingly, with all the action that happened last inning, well, I was telling my story, or telling my, giving out my information, giving out the information about the season. They didn't score any more runs, so it's still 4 nothing. but that's still bad enough. Dermot is up, and he strikes out to end the inning. We're going for us, and we're going to the bottom of the fifth. And Bob Neiman up. Bob Neiman striking out. But I did want everybody to at least be able to see all of the teams, like if you're, a, if you're a fan of an American team like the Yankees or the Red Sox. Actually, I don't know. Yeah, we played the Red Sox, yeah. Um, I didn't want to, like, skip over those games, like the first series of the season against those two teams, and then you're wondering, is he ever going to show the Red Sox series, you know? So, yeah. And then after that, I'll just pick... Um, well-chosen series is that, um, I don't know, me not either for the other, because there isn't going to be one that's going to be for us. Yost hits the ball to Minoso, and he pulls it in. Runnels up with one down. There is, I mean, you know, the, we're not going to be a good team. We weren't in real life, and I don't expect that to happen here either. We'll see how close we can come to being, like, better than them. Better than the actual team. And is that going to be out? He's got it. No, no, we don't even get a run off that. So we're back out in the field with McDermott pitching to Harshman. And that's going to be a card. And it's an out. out. Many minutes go up. And he's going to be out. I mean... I, yeah, I want to say McDermott settled down after the first, but he really didn't because there was that one bad inning where a lot of guys were on base, and I thought they were sort of come out of that with like two or three runs after I was done explaining how I'm going to play the rest of the season. But that didn't happen, so he's still, he's still only losing. Um, and now we got home run from Seavers. Nice. In the top of the seventh, but it's still four to one. But I'll take it. Now we got Paula up. And Paula is going to be out. So with one out, um, we got Umflit up at the plate. And he's going to hit a single. So he's on. If we can turn this into something, that would be great. Fitzgerald there up. That's a ground ball. B. And it looks like that's one out there. And so now we got Fitzgerald aboard Valdezzo up at the plate, and he's out. So we're down 4-1. I still got McDermott up there pitching. 
I mean, the guy has settled down. Um, Walt Dropo is out. And uh, Lawler is up. Uh, Lawler hits five to all the right. And that brings Bob Neiman. And Bob Neiman is going to get it to the track. Let's see if that's going to be out. And no, it isn't. So that's an, so wait. Yeah, no, that was, uh, that was an out. So let's see if we can get something started here with McDermott. Uh, and he's going to hit a fly right. Neiman is a five, so let's see if he can get it tested. Nope. And Eddie Yost is up. up. Ground ball to Dropo. And that's an out. And Runnels is up. And he flies out. And George Kell is a play against um, McDermott. McDermott has pitched great since the first inning, since after the first inning. All right, not really, but he hasn't allowed any runs. He's pitched well enough. Nelly Fox is up. Pop out to second. We're only down by three runs, but with our offense, I doubt we're getting those three runs. And Jack Harshman's up, and he strikes out. So Harshman, and of course, he's still out there because he's pitching. He's really dealing. We go to the top of the ninth. we got to have three runs around here. McDermott leading us out and leading us out in big fashion with a single. But we got to avoid double plays, and everybody has to get hits or get on base. And speaking of avoiding double plays, Roy Severs didn't manage to do that. So there's two down with Paula up. And he's out, and we have now officially lost both games to the White Sox. And we'll be looking for our next series. I think it's against Baltimore. I'm not 100% sure, but anyway, let's get the box score for you. And yeah, McDermott pitched eight, gave up eight hits, walked four. Not the greatest outing, and only gave up four earned runs, though. That's a quality start. And has a 513 earned run average on the year. So that is it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.